A couple years ago, we bought this old place that had a pretty rad two-story playhouse in the back garden. It's been a destination hangout for decades in our little neighborhood, and it's fun to think, how many youthful memories were made here. When we moved in, we just couldn't get enough, from the retro kitchen and the secluded playroom to the hidden rooms. We put on some stairs and knocked out the cobwebs, but did little else to change the little shack from its original glory. Eventually, the neglect and time caught up to the rad little playhouse and we were faced with a decision. Hack into the playhouse to find the issues and bring it back to life, or, we rip her down. We couldn't stand the thought of saying goodbye, so we gathered up our tools and got to work make a tiny house, and some giant memories. Some of us clearly took it a bit more serious than others. Set wrap here. So what we tried to do... Smile Xander. We had this little playhouse in our backyard built like 30 years ago, but it was a uh, really poquito. So you couldn't, adults couldn't really fit in there if you over like five, nine, um, or if it depends on how much you like your skull. So we've been putting a lift kit on it. And as we keep going, we keep finding more things that need to be fixed. So um, it's turning into quite the project, but we, uh, we've we got the lift kit almost on. Once we get it shored up, we're actually get putting beams across the bottom some PCB. Xander's securing it so if the wind comes up it doesn't go huh. The top was a little easier because it had a loft so we just gutted the loft and we're gonna box up the top so adults can fit in there and then um, the kids will actually have a little playhouse that's usable and I think if everything goes well we're even gonna put a little uh, little potty in here so uh, it's like an apartment. Pretty rad. We gutted the inside. You can't really see from here. It's dangerous to walk in there because it's all held up by blocks. Jack it up on this side, then jack it up on this side, then jack it up on that side, then jack it up. All right, sit rep. Day, uh, what is this, day three? Yeah. We kept finding rot and stuff, but we've got all this shored up, new footers around there, uh, leveled, every, uh, leveled everything. We're turning this into a wall <laughs> and that into a wall because we're going to put a place to do number two right there everything's lifted everything's back down floor is now rehooked to the walls is what i'm saying by back down we flipped this little beam over here that was a good nightmare because it wasn't actually supporting anything and then this platform looks a little janky but it's gonna be uh it's gonna be the stairs that go up bring the stairs inside so the kids don't slip doing um kid things and then they'll just walk up and in i'm sure you can imagine how stairs work all right what do you guys have to add to this um uh, it's going good. It's yeah. Stressful. I think it's going good too. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Come here. Dad, you're taking a video. Am I? Yeah. Oh, can you fix it? Yep. Hey, Dom. Hi. You still packing insulation? Yeah. What are you doing, Jay? Huh? What are you doing in here? I'm giving the bolt. The one you did. Oh. I was recording video. I already knew what you're doing. Oh. I was like, why are you asking me again? <laughs> hey, Xander, wave. Oh, never mind. You're busy. Oh, thanks, bud. <sighs> Turned into a way bigger project, but uh, everybody's learning something. Cool. There's when you poop, where you shower, kitchen counter. Ooh, looks nice. We're working on insulation. Crazy it is. <laughs> so Xander's making a mess and dad is cleaning up. We got all the insulation up on all this and these boards back up. We got to put insulation here. Right. Guys having fun? No. Oh shoot. Out here working in the afternoon, cutting styrofoam, painting. I don't know what they're doing. Music. How's it going up there? Music is nice. <laughs> Thank you, Got the plumbing laid out, counters in. Well, we got a big, nice green sink for right here. Most of the insulation done, air conditioning. That's nice in the day, because it was really hot. We got some of the walls Oh, hey, on. you again. Oh, hi. I know you. And they're cleaning up. I got all the eaves and stuff done, so they look nice. Most of the painting's done. Haven't done the door up there to go on the porch yet. Right there's where you will poop. There's the shower drain. Here's my sink drain coming up here. This is our super thick insulation we're putting in everywhere. You go up these stairs that are now inside instead of outside. It's a little vaulted ceiling which we just popped up. And that's going to be our door out onto the to the porch. Set wrap on the uh, garden shed. 
it's ruining the garden. We've got a lot of stuff done today. It's just not looking like a lot. We got all of the uh, main paint done. Put some door jams in, which is pretty red. Bathroom jams in. Made our envelope inside the stairs so I didn't have to do all the insulation here. So it's all insulated back there. Oh, we're putting a heater in the wall right here. That was a last minute idea instead of a plug-in heater, just so everything's uh, turned oh. on. Just want to show today's accomplishment here. The porch. We got a quality rail that people aren't gonna fall off of anymore. I mean, there's no room. There's room to do this. We got a lot of the trash out today, but we have to redo all the garden to bring power over. Whee. Whee. What you got going on? The paint on here is oh, like stopping it, it from, yeah. Uh. What you guys doing? I, I saw you pick up the phone, so I was pretending to work real quick. Didn't want it to look like Xander was the only one doing work. <laughs> We did get power today, well, sort of, and septic and water out to the little playhouse, which is ridiculous, I know, but we'll have breakers tomorrow, which means we may have AC tomorrow, which would be pretty cool because we got sheetrock. Little lift pump over here. We're getting there. Kids are all inside. We're tired. A few weeks going straight on this is making it not as much fun, but we're still enjoying it, I think. Whew. Sit rep. Day 2,461, we start filling in trenches and doing some of the finishing stuff like walls, which are actually hardwood floors, which is, uh, makes the overall thickness of the building even more. So you lose a little bit of square footage, but it's already tiny. Got some of the walls in the hallway done. Not all of them. Yeah, it got way too big. Hey, baby. Hello. <laughs> got the chickens in the coop too, see? Then I built that ugly pen. Situation report, day 6,000. So Jay and I just finished putting in a floor up here. It's just uh, the rehome, snap together, waterproof, laminate garbage, but it's perfect for here because this whole area is getting a permanent bed box built there and a permanent headboard on the wall, so you'll never see this again. That's why I didn't care about the striations in it. Here it broke up a little better. Hey, what else, Jay? Nothing, hopefully today. <laughs> <laughs> you just want a break, huh? Power is done for the second time. That's a whole fun thing. I think we're done painting. No, that's not true. Up there and up here still has to go. We do have electrical now, but I don't have lights in. Uh, shower is in for, you know, <coughs> showering and whatnot. The stairs are a bit more terrifying with the uh, no handrail and all the flooring missing. I don't know where we stopped last time. Walls are up up here and everybody's tired it's been some long days Pushing the walls on the stair down there just in sheetrock because i ran out of all this there's the hot water heater under my foot it's, it's a bad word in german under my feet it takes one sheet of plywood to stir it so it works out really efficient for a playhouse this is pretty cool gotta point this out it's a uh a 1996 new in box uh, 1996 kohler new old stock porcelain sink or enamel sink bathrooms all sheet rocked in so is this actually this, this is so much bigger project than i thought like you're having fun i'm not <laughs> hey oh you're painting huh oh this is the wrong color bud read some of the garden have a lot to do it's getting uh a swing and stuff. We'll see. Kids repainted the bench, so I have to redo the whole roof. Hmm. Painting. That was so fun to paint. Dad built this little shelf. Got the cool colored sink in. Um, DIY stucco wall. Tiny microwave. Miniature fridge. Lights up. Poopers in. Showers in, but it's not quite hooked up yet. Handrail light, sorry to blind you. Got this counter in up here. We are for the floating bed design. So I like the square and the roof. It just looks nice in my opinion. Pretty cool, right? Look how, look how far I look. look how, how scary it is going down. Bro, step once you're dead. Today's step up. We got 
all of the trims done. All the door trims. We finished up some electrical and put on all these outlet plates. And we got the pooper. In. Oh, geez. Hey, I don't remember installing that. Okay, this is cool. We put like glass beads right here for extra grip when we go up the stairs. Final part of the project and the most scariest. So uh, the sun went down so I could finish the peaks without ruining the roof. But this is hands down my least favorite part. Uh, not, I'm not afraid of heights, but I would rather be uh, buckled to something, hooked to a parachute or something. But just sitting up here waiting to roll off and bounce off my ear is not cool. Ta-da! This is our final video. This used to be our porch. Now it's our bathroom. Shower. Toilet. Tiny trash can. Tiny. But it has everything we need though. TV. Dad built that. Me and Dad built the gate yesterday. It took us a few hours, but we got it done. I guess this is the final walkthrough. Now it started as just fix a couple saggy boards, raise the roof a little bit, and then one thing led to another, and we ended up <laughs> redoing the whole thing. They're not really good though. The last thing I did was hang that picture right there. Can't believe this used to be. Well, not this. Yep. Oh, I'm cleaning. Um, I'm Nothing, hopefully. <laughs>